hello and welcome to issues from twitter where we take some tweets or any issue there and we come over here to discuss this so there's this interesting thread uh that a, a someone made i think it's a lady the profile is a lady though the name doesn't say it. it's called just society and it's just society for all that's the twitter handle it says two men were governors Asiwajubola, Tinibu in Lagos State and Peter Obi in Anambra. Towards the end of their second tenure, Asiwajubola, Tinibu in Lagos sent his retirement bill and got the House of Assembly to approve what you see below as his yearly pension. Uh, just to say a quick, uh, I didn't do a research to find out whether this, everything she stated are the way it is. But I do know they, they, they did, he did collect pension and all of that. Most of the governors, this is basically like what they collect. So I just see my face is looking one kind. This, I really am tired, right? I really look tired. I know I feel tired. But hey, we have 104 days to election. That should be the focus. Uh, so, so I have not uh, really confirmed every step, but generally, this is it. One. 300% annual salary as severance package as approved by RMAFAC. I think if this is the revenue mobilization allocation fees, I don't know the whole full meaning. Please, if you have, drop it in the comment section so that we can all learn from you. And and even even recently, I think I, I did a video on that on the, uh, I think it's supposed to be 30 something billion naira that is going to be paid, I think by next year for retirement all of a severance package and this is how nigeria continuously wastes money and as our democracy is going we will have more and more and more of these retired people draining the nation we need to get to a place where this this thing is stopped so two hundred percent of annual basic salary of incumbent governor as salary for life even after leaving office so you mean you'll be paying governor as we go on we have more and more you have instead having maybe like 10 15 20 governors still alive and then you have to be paying all of this all of this money so can they have 20 governors no really anyway number three is that six new cars every three years six new cars when you were governor you didn't even put anything that produced car or anything and then they will be buying six new cars for you and i'm sure they will not even want to buy the ones in nigeria being uh, assembled in nigeria they will want to go outside a new house in Lagos, minimum five bedroom. Didn't you have house before you, you started? Didn't you have a you didn't you have house? All of these allowances and all these things should be stopped. A new house in Abuja or any other location, minimum five bedrooms. So you in Abuja, in Lagos, everything. Most of these people they loot our money, they blew public funds, and then you pay them off again and, and all of that. Six, free medical care for him and members of his family for life. And this, most, most times it includes, even, even, even if it means going abroad, people that didn't do anything for the medical, uh, for the healthcare system, then they get the best that the, the people, that they denied the people at the cost of the, at the expense of the people. Nigeria is such a messed up country, honestly. We really need to clean up this country and begin to grow. At seven, entitled to cook, steward, gardeners, and domestic staffs, all pensionable. Can you imagine that? 300% of his annual basic salary as governor every two years as furniture allowance. Every two years we are changing. What furniture are you changing every two years? 100% of annual basic salary as governor as his house maintenance allowance. Two DSS officers. Two DSS officers. One female officer for his wife and eight policemen to guard him for the guard him for the security they did not put in place okay let's say this is governor he's not in charge of security that's the president's decision to guard him what about the rest of the citizens um 25 percent of his annual basic salary for personal assistance 30 percent of his annual basic salary for car maintenance 20 percent of his annual basic salary as utilities maintenance Pensionable, pensionable drivers, no limits to be, no limits to the number. And she says this is part, this is apart from what Bola Tinibu gets as a percentage of collections from Alpha Beta for tax collections for Lagos and the total control he has over the governor and the treasury. So this is what uh, Bola Tinibu uh, gets. And then you come down to 
what uh, Peter would be, who was also governor, who, who had also left, though they were not governors at the same time. I think there was it's just four years difference between uh, between them. And so Bessie, and she said, but see what Peter will be collects from Adam Brassi since leaving office as governor. One, no gratuity. Two, no pensions. Three, no houses. Four, no cars. Five, no allowances of any kind. Six, no maintenance of any kind. Seven, no personal assistance paid by, by the state. Eight, no domestic uh, staffs paid by the state. Nine, no aid sponsored by the state. Ten, not even pure water. Eleven, no shishi from the state. Uh, Twelve, no landed property. And I've seen uh, Peter will be uh, saying that if he had, if there's any place, any of you that can come and show that he had collected landed property for, that he will stop the campaign. He has put it down. How many, how many candidates can actually come out and say that? Uh, Thirteen, no trace of any form of corruption on him till date. Fourteen, he's still using his personal money to pay school fees for some, uh, for some children of the poor till date. Now the two, the two men want to be president. So choose, uh, so choose today who means well for Nigeria and who will uh, serve the people selflessly. And then she added, you can go and verify. That's just it. You can go and verify those things, if they are facts or not. These are the things that people should be looking out for. When you see, this is someone who left office. I mean, he did then. Imagine all of the money that had that, like all these ex-governors take. What that would mean in putting it and helping the poor in the state, in helping education in the state, in helping one thing or the other. We have to look at people who mean well for the people, people who have good heart, people who are going to stand by the uh, by the citizens and ensure that they get better empathy that's why for me empathy is such a serious 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 uh issue and this is a time fighting for nigeria this is this we're fighting for survival here nigeria is barely breathing we, we can't afford to just do any sorts of sentiments or whatever. With what is on ground, we need to choose the best and ensure. And citizens, you can do it. The power is in you. The power is in us. We must continue. We must continue to do this and not to allow political charlatans be the ones to decide for us who become uh, uh, president or governors or members of the legislative arm. Thank you.